and welcome back to another Let's Play Shinobi 3 for the Sega Genesis. Ninja's just always been awesome to me. I guess since Shinobi, Ninja Gaiden before it became all about blood, guts, and boobs. And Ryu Hayabusa and Dead or Alive when I learned how to successfully do is Xuna Drops. From the worst ninja, Vega, um, to the best ninja, Ryu Hayabusa. Ninjas just always had that special cool factor about them. It's like as a kid, I always wanted to be a ninja. Power Rangers, when they turned into ninjas, was just epic. I don't like the new Power Rangers, though. That mystical jungle force samurai crap. I don't know what happened with that. I miss the old Power Rangers. You know, they had the putties that just six guys standing around waiting to get spin kicked in the face so I go up <laughs> but anyway that's as far as I go with it back to ninjas one game I've been meaning to play but I haven't really played outside of a demo is Tenchu all about stealth which ninjas really represent to the fullest and I stayed away from that game for some reason I guess that'll be one of my next things to do explore the world of Tenchu I guess anything would be better than Sub-Zero Tracking down Scorpion in a horrible side scroller game that I'm not gonna mention. First boss already. Not to diss Mortal Kombat, but I just don't know what they was thinking with that side scroller. Speaking of Mortal Kombat, Scorpion was actually my favorite character. One, because he was a ninja, then two, he did ninja-like things, like he would stalk his enemies. Sub-Zero was just, he just always revealed his position in the worst way. Wasn't really, like, stealthy at all. We all know about Reptile and his invisibility. But Scorpion was still my favorite. I just can't believe that a horse can dive kick like that. the best horse ever. This horse is better than Red Hair in Dynasty Warriors. That's right. Red Hair can't even dive kick like this. Yun and Yang would love to have this horse. Dive kicks everywhere. But back to the topic of ninjas before I get just mind blown by dive kicks. Speaking of them, there you go, another dive kick. Vega, let's talk about Vega. Spanish Ninja. His sole mission is just to be the most handsome, wonderful being that represents beauty in all the land. 
nothing can look better than him. Because if it does, he must kill it. Once I found out that Vega was a ninja, that just completely... That was like... That was like, I guess, Disco dying. Like, some things should just never happen. And Vega being a ninja is just one of them. Now, granted, I guess he would be like the perfect assassin, but he hardly wears any clothes. How would he blend in with his environment while stalking his prey? I guess somebody will cover it in a fanfic. Oh, by the way, don't go in that hole. I did that one time as a kid, thinking it was like a secret entrance into a bonus area or something. And I just stayed in there and died horribly. And why did I think like that as a kid? Because when you play Sonic the Hedgehog and you're searching for emeralds, you just tend to go in the most obscure places thinking you found a secret bonus point. When really you just found a pit trap. And then two feet later, after you lost all your rings, hey look, there's a secret Chaos Emerald that you need 50 rings to activate. And I'm just like, uh-huh. Like, I know I should have said it earlier, but the guy with a shield and a boomerang, did they just pick him up off the street and say we need all the help we could get? I think they did, because that's just pathetic. I guess when you're sending all the troops to Afghanistan, you have to make do with whatever help you can back in the U.S. of A. Oh, I talked about Ninja Gaiden earlier. Let's cover Dead or Alive. Normally, I would never talk about Dead or Alive just because after Dead or Alive 1, the series was already doomed to never be interesting to me ever again with the whole counter game. It's worse than Soul Calibur Pro Tournaments. Like, no matter what combo you do on an opponent, if they counter you at the right time, their counter does more damage than your combo would've. And it just doesn't make any sense. Now granted, the new Dead or Alive 5 that's coming out, I had a chance to play the demo and I really was impressed with the demo. But would I buy the game? Most likely no. But I still think that they're making improvements, just not in the ways I would hope they would. Just the whole counter system really needs to be rebalanced, and I'm hoping that they will rebalance it, but I kind of doubt it. But, that's as far as I go into it with Dead or Alive. Yes, giant brains slash turkeys, whatever you want to call it, just attacking you. And I'll be afraid too. Set myself up for that. A brain with wings. It gives you wings! Red Bull commercial. Like, what other game you know where you could dive kick electricity? Like, those are some special edition boots. I want those boots. 
every construction worker should have those boots that he's wearing. He can run as fast as the wind, can drop kick electricity, can stand in acid and not die. Like, he's just the best ninja already without even using his ninjutsu. Speaking of the ninjas, I almost forgot about one of the most popular ones now. Naruto. I just think Naruto would be so much more successful in his missions if he just get rid of wearing the color orange. If he just stopped wearing orange, I think he would be so much better. He'll be Hokage a lot sooner if he just wore a different color. Like he wonders why his enemies can find him. I've been trying to get into the manga by the way, but it's just too much. much for me to keep up with but I guess to those who've been reading it I guess it's a really good way to pass time until another episode of Naruto comes on it's like over 200 episodes of counting and I'm not like saying anything negative about it it's just that out of so many episodes majority of it is just flashbacks that puts Dragon Ball Z flashbacks to shame. Like, I spent a good portion of my childhood kicking trees just so I can use this best ninjutsu at this last moment. Well, I get hit as he dies. Like, I'm all for story development, but it's nothing more teasing than an epic fight between Sasuke and Naruto just to be ruined by some pointless flashback. Like, I secretly envied you, and I'm just like, oh god. Like, either admit that you're gay, or just go to the last blow, the last punch. But if they admit that they secretly love each other, then it'll be like the worst, just the worst response video ever. Death Note, hmm. <laughs> Death Note. I'm not even going to say why I mentioned that, but... Anybody that's watched Death Note and no longer watches it, I know why. You don't even gotta explain to me. It's like on one hand, I want to get rid of flashbacks or just have the very first episodes be all about story development. Then on the other hand, it's like if you do too much of one thing, you'll lose fans who really like the other thing that you're getting rid of. I missed that extra one. Oh well. Hopefully I won't need it in long run. I don't know why, but whenever I'm on this stage, I just think of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Just being on this surfboard, I just imagine one of them coming out the water out of the sewers and say, Cowabunga! Like, I unlocked a new assist. Yeah, just rush him down. Does my health heal? I don't think it does. No, it does not. So now I gotta be extra cautious. Dive kick. 
One thing I never understood, and it only occurred to me while playing this stage and accidentally jumping into water by mistake, is that he can't swim. you think ninjas would be able to swim, but I guess with those all authentic limited edition boots that he got on, I guess they just make him sink a lot faster than normal boots would. I don't know. You have to be extremely careful here. It's so easy to fall into the water. I love this music. Again, not appropriate battle music, but nonetheless, I love this music. But if I haven't mentioned it already, my goal mainly while playing this game is to beat it on one continue. And by the way, the game is on normal difficulty. Normally, I try not to use ninjutsu unless I really need it. But later on in the game, I just use it just religiously. Like the jump, the super jump, and um, the lightning, the shield. It's almost mandatory the way I play in the later stages. Got him right in the kneecap. Gotta keep an eye on the time. Oh, one thing to be careful, if you plan on dive kicking the pipes so that you can clear a passage here, you're gonna wanna be careful because I accidentally dive kicked into the water before and it was really embarrassing and it just made me wanna turn off the game. And that's when I realized that ninjas could not swim in this game. cautious on this stage. Doing good so far. I love wall jumping here. I could use my ninjutsu here, but I just prefer not to. How convenient I get that. You can do it. You gotta spam it. Dive kicks. And that's it. Round five. Option selecting right there. You know you want to take the shot. No. You 
you know you're a pro when you can block a bullet with a knife. Oh, also, I haven't even mentioned Shinobi or Nightshade for the PS2. Those two games I really enjoyed, but I guess they was just said the Sega Genesis ports was really too easy, so whoever was behind it just said, let's crank up the difficulty here. Devil May Cry before Devil May Cry. Again, this guy with the boomerang and the shield. Like, give them the shield, and you just have your boomerang by yourself. Like, at least if it was an electric boomerang or a boomerang on fire, I can see that being a threat, but just a regular old boomerang. I still can't get past that. It's gonna make me lose focus badly thinking about that. on that first death pretty soon. Or not. I want to know who's conveniently placing these random boxes of dynamite just along here. Was it a previous ninja who failed this mission and just said, let me make it easier for the next ninja to come along and take my place? I don't know. noticed that almost every Sega Genesis game that I love playing always had good music. I guess that was part of the package deal for me. Five, 
Oh. Yeah, that's why I'm quiet, because I'm trying to figure out in which direction am I supposed to be going as far as the dynamite. Well, it's only two directions, left and right, but I mean, like, just as far as where to go first. Because this stage as a kid just blew my mind. But thanks to games like this, I've become a better gamer. At least I like to think so. Because it forces you to think outside the box. Actually, yep. I remember that too. Let's go to the right first. As you can tell, like towards the late stages of the game, from here on to stage seven, I get really focused. So, unfortunately, that means I might get quiet a lot longer than I should when it comes to these videos. But hopefully, this game or at least watching me play it will bring back some good memories for you or help you discover something new you've probably never done before as far as Sega Genesis or old consoles such as Sega Saturn Game Gear I wonder can I block those Using a jitsu. Just realized I can actually shoot the energy balls coming from this place. I might have to use it. Hopefully, I don't have to. I didn't even have to use it. Proud of myself. And I think I'll end the video on that note. Round six. Oh, God definitely gonna pause it here anyway to be continued with part two coming real soon this is gold unit 1001 signing out <laughs>